Today we're going to be testing out some FNAF cookbook recipes. Well, when you're watching this, it the cookbook already came out like a while ago. But yeah, so as you can see, there's so much to choose from, so many things we could do. But we don't have the time for everything right now. Um, so I'm just going to do a few things. But let's look at the kitchen safety first. Pre-cooking. Wash hands, locate sink, determine correct water temperature, use soap, rub hands together for 20 seconds, longer than 20 seconds constitutes an unpaid break, dry your hands and go back to work. Sure, I can do that. And next, wear an apron to protect clothing and tie long hair back. I got my hair tie right here, so I'm gonna use that. And my apron, this is the only apron I have, it has cute cats on it, so that's a plus. So yeah, I'm gonna wear that. So let's put this on and get to work. Check the recipe list carefully first and make sure you have all of the ingredients ready. But yeah, I had a bit of trouble choosing what to make for this video, like what to do first. Because there are so many good recipes in here that I'd like to try out. And maybe I will do another video if you if you want another cooking video, just comment down below. But when I saw this great face of Monty, I just knew I have to make the beverages first. Running around the pizza plex arcade is definitely thirsty work. While animatronics rarely stop for liquid refueling, human visitors need hydration of the highest order. Cans of Sodaroni, a weird pepperoni flavored drink, can be spotted everywhere, but a more sophisticated and enjoyable selection of beverages are about to be revealed. Cheers! So the first drink is Monty Gators Green with Envy and it's this green healthy looking drink. The next one is the Superstar Daycare Strawberry Shake which I hope comes with a staff bot. Foxy's Fruity Cove Cooler A Sodoroni Slushy with no with no pepperoni unfortunately and monty's mouth-watering melon meltdown i'll try saying that five times in a row so what are we going to do first there are so many choices let's start with green with envy oh look we have this little note here at the bottom monty mystery mix is a strange green pizza topping gloop which can be used to lure and finally destroy chica Mean and green. Wow, that was helpful. With his glam rock attitude and star-shaped sunglasses, Monty Gator makes a healthy smoothie that puts all other Pizza Flex drinks in the shade. It's speedy to make, so use your spare time for a quick game of Gator Golf. Anyone that picks Monty Golf is just a nerd. Ooh, Gator Golf! Okay, so what do we need to make two of these servings? So I need one apple, but these apples are really small, so I'll just use two. One banana. Ginger. Spinach. Kale. Chia seeds. Cucumber. Mint leaves. Two limes. Some ice cubes. Some apple juice. And some honey. So, let's do this. Wait, Ugh, I gotta do this by hand, I guess. First up, I'll wash the apples and then cut them up. Oh wait, I forgot this whole thing about kitchen safety. So, if you're not an adult, then you must... I am an adult. I will do this. Protective oven mitts must be used when putting anything in and out of the oven. We're not going to use the oven today, so that's great. And also, what's with this? Chica is promoting knife safety, but there's no knife. Like, that's a pizza cutter. What is she chopping? And the after cooking safety will leave for later. So, now that we have these cut up apples, it's time to put them into the mixer. Yeah. Beautiful. That's them. Oh, no one saw that. It's fine. 
Now the apple juice. Oh, hi. And let's put that in there. Peel the banana. Oh, throw that away. And just dump it in to the mixer. Now some chia seeds. Let's see if I can open it with one hand. Yes. Way to go, superstar. And here's me taking forever to find the right spoon. And just put some chia seeds into the rest. Now let's juice the limes. First cut them up and then use this thingy. I have no idea what it's called actually. And I tried doing it with one hand but to no avail. So I put it in there. You gotta trust me. Now let's grate some ginger. Well, the recipe told me to grate the ginger, but I'm just gonna cut it up. And it looks kind of gray, but I, I don't know why. It, it's fine, it's fine. Time to go in there. And now I tried to put in the honey, but it's so hard. So I had to get some other honey, which is also hard, but at least I can take it out with a spoon. So now that's in there. It's hard getting spinach and kale out of there with one hand, but I did it. So yay me. And now the cucumber, peel it and just put it in there. Now 15 mint leaves. Well, the recipe says 15 mint leaves. So of course I'm going to count it. I mean, what else do you expect? And just put that in there as well. Now, those are all the ingredients we need. So let's see what happens. And there we have it. It's pretty green. It's literally the same green as in the pictures. Am I gonna use regular glasses for this? Of course not! I have to use these special ones with a straw, because they come with a straw. I'd say they look pretty close to the picture in the book, so I think this was a success. Time for a taste test. This tastes really good, actually. I'd recommend this, definitely. I really like this. I'm gonna make this in the future multiple times. So next up is this Superstar Daycare Strawberry Shake. And we got another note down here. Keep clear of the flashlight tastic security bots around Superstar Daycare. These machines are 100% party poopers. Fancy a trip to Superstar Daycare? It's a big adventure, soft play area full of stuff to slide down, climb over and explore. Mix up a strawberry flavored Superstar Daycare shake to experience your own mouth-watering fun. So, what do we need for two servings? First up, frozen strawberries, some sugar, a bit of milk, chia seeds, vanilla ice cream, and I don't have any whipping cream, so I'll just use some sprinkles. Also, I'm not gonna use regular milk because my sister's lactose intolerant, so... Put the sliced strawberries into a bowl with the sugar, mix, and let soften for 15 minutes. Okay, I can do that. So let's slice these frozen strawberries. And put them in a bowl, a bit of sugar, and we'll see if anything happens to them. Here we have the vanilla ice cream. Oh, look at that scoop, that's beautiful. Some chia seeds. And this time I couldn't open it with just one hand. So one and two. Now for the milk. 
I kept a few frozen strawberries just because I had a bit too many. Now it's 15 minutes later and nothing really happened with the strawberries. Maybe because they're frozen? I don't know. Time to add these to the other stuff. And this is everything we need for this shake. So let's turn the mixer on. Ooh, look at that. Alright, we got five glasses. Time to pour the shake in. Now we got some sprinkles. Look at that, that's so pretty. Also, I found these straws. So I just added them in. Time for a taste test. It tastes really good. I like the other one more, but it's still pretty good. Okay, Foxy's Fruity Cove Cooler. The action in Foxy's Pirate Cove can get a little heated, so it makes sense to help turn the temperature down with a fruity cooler drink. Grab some pineapple, passion fruit, and plenty of ice to create a glass of something that's rewarding and refreshing. And we got this little picture of Mangleton here. So, what do we need for two servings? Some pineapple, coconut water, passion fruit, but I don't have any passion fruit, so no passion fruit. A lime, honey, some ice, and that's it. So, just put everything together and blend it. Seems easy enough. So first the pineapple, and let's strain it, and put that into the blender. Now the lime, let's cut that up, and uh, I still don't know what it's called. Is it a juicer? No clue. Some coconut water, let's add that in, and the honey. I put in more pineapple just, just because I wanted to. And let's blend. So let's fill the glasses. And I got the ice. Now for some mint leaves for decoration. And that's the Foxy Cove Cooler. Well, to be honest, I didn't really like the texture of it. I don't know why, but I really didn't like it. So I strained it and got this juice, kind of. Time for the Soda Roni Slushy. Freddy's Top Tips. You could replace the raspberries here with strawberries, blackberries, or a mix of berries. Just make sure they are frozen. Unlike retail cans of Sodoroni, which have the strange taste of pepperoni, your homemade Sodoroni in a tall glass is a flash of flavorsome fruitiness. Whatever fruit you pick to make it, you'll lap up the icy goodness of the simple but stylish slushy. So that means I can just use anything that's frozen, like frozen pepperoni, right? Well, maybe in another video. So what do we need? Some raspberries, a large lemon, Sparkling water, cranberry juice, ice, and honey. Just put everything together, blend it, and that's it. Okay, I can do that. So, let's get these frozen raspberries out. Yeah. They were unfrozen at some point. I don't know. Now for the sparkling water. Ooh, look at those sparkle. Look at it sparkle. Add that in, the cranberry juice, the two lemons, and the honey, one and Two. 
And now a bit of ice. It should be 300 grams, but I didn't have that much. So let's just add that ice in and blend. It was a bit too thick, so I added in some more cranberry juice. And I somehow... And I somehow kind of broke this. Well, broken is a bit much, but... This rubber thingy... Got off. So I had to put it on again. But that's fine. I got it back on. And there we have it. Some homemade slushy. Now the taste test. It tastes actually amazing. I really really like this drink. It's my favorite out of all the drinks we've made. Definitely. And that was everything. Well, I couldn't make the melon melt down drink because I don't have any melon because it's winter right now. But Maybe I'll be able to do it in another video next year. So, in total, all the drinks were great. But my favorite definitely has to be the slushy. So, there we have it. All the drinks from the FNAF cookbook. Now, after cooking. Allow piping hot food to cool a little before tugging. Don't rush in as if it's a manic, maser size fitness session. Well, we didn't have anything hot, so we're good. Always clean up after cooking and don't leave hazards around for others to find. Um, yeah, that, uh, th that's fine. And the last step. Once your shift at the pizza plex is over, make sure you leave before dark. Also, remember to smile. We're watching. <laughs>